Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, there's a couple things going on. But uh, one is Google is moving toward quantum supremacy with a 72-qubit computer. Are you serious? This thing must be extremely powerful and comprehensive. Matter of fact, quantum computers are bulking up. Researchers from Google are testing the quantum computer with 72 quantum bits or qubits. A scientist reported on March the 5th at a meeting of the American uh, Physical Society uh, a big setup from the company's previous 9-cubic chip. Think about that. Going from 9-cubic to 72 quantum bits uh, or qubits. The team hopes to use the larger quantum chip to demonstrate quantum supremacy for the first time, performing a calculation that is impossible with traditional computers. Google physicist Julian Kelly is reporting, achieving quantum supremacy requires a computer of more than 50 qubits, but scientists are still struggling to control so many finicky quantum entities at once, unlike standard bits that take on a value of zero or one, a qubit can be zero, one, or a mashup of the two, thanks to a quantum quirk known as superposition. Nickname Bristol Cone because its qubits are arranged in a pattern resembling a pine cone scales. The computer is now being put through its paces. We're just starting the testing, they said, says physicist John Martinez of Google and the University of California, Santa Barbara. From what we know so far, we're very optimistic. The quantum supremacy demonstration could come within a few months if everything works well, says Martinez. Google is one of the several companies working to make quantum computers a reality. IBM announced it was testing a 50-qubit quantum computer back in November of 2017. And Intel announced they're working on a 49-qubit test chip. And they said that in January. So with Intel and, uh, and Google and IBM all now taking this thing to another whole level of quantum computers, uh, we're going to go into a whole new level of... Um, uh, computer information and transformation. Now, there's another thing taking place while this is all going on. There's a Singapore, a Singapore company, really, which is owned by China. Uh, that is named. The name of the company is Broadcom Limited. Now they're trying to buy the super chip from uh, a U, a uh, company called Qualcomm. Now, the U.S. government has inserted itself into this technology industry's biggest potential takeover, post postponing a key shareholder his vote on grounds that the deal could endanger our country's technological prowess and, in turn, our national security. The Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States and in an Intel agency group chaired by the Treasury Department can block this recommended uh, can block this sale, and they are recommending that the president block the deal ordered uh, uh, Quarrelcom Incorporated to delay its annual shareholder meeting by 30 days to give um, this uh, government uh, inter inter uh, inter agency an opportunity to review the Singapore-based rival Broadcom Limited's proposal, which is for $117 billion takeover of the chip maker Qualcomm. The problem is if China, this China-based company out of Singapore, if they actually buy Qualcomm for the $117 billion, our, a lot of our defense uh, systems use this Qualcomm technology and could put us at a disadvantage or actually even at a national security risk. So this is a huge deal. We're moving to a whole new levels. This was the front page of the Wall Street Journal two days ago. 
on U.S. stepping in to delay the chip deal. Meanwhile, Google moves on with this new quantum uh, supremacy of a 72-qubit computer taking us to levels we've never even thought of before. And don't forget 5G. And we're still studying on this because of the ramifications of what 5G technology may actually bring, not just to its tremendous advancement in virtual reality or augmented reality or, or even uh, self-driving cars and semis on the highways and all kinds of other things that 5G technology can bring, but its effects on the human body and the human mind and maybe even the human soul. We're still trying to research what all this means. And a lot of folks have sent me emails and concerned about the 5.3, the 5G technology. And we're still researching it. We're still going to continue to. And, we'll, and as soon as we get more information, we're waiting on some of, some of our own uh, experts out there to give us their opinions. But we're already receiving some. So we'll come back to you more on 5G uh, in the next few days to come. All right? Anyway, something technological is going on. And if it is, then something biblical is going on. Don't forget, the mark of the beast is more than just a mark. It's more than just a, a identification registry. It's more than just a RFID microchip. It is a soul-changing position. Are you? It's, it literally is... Once you take this mark, this system is embedded in you. You cannot ever be forgiven. You can never go back. Once that decision's made, it is not only a blasphemous move, but it's a technological no return. We'll be back to talk about more about that and a whole lot more. Don't miss today's live broadcast. Starts at 12 noon Eastern. Are you serious? Are you serious? At my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com. Also on new live stream, Roku Satellite, the direct radio line today, and this YouTube channel. Are you serious? I'm going to get some coffee. Get some strong coffee on this one. What?